Hey, what's up? This is Gizmo, and today we're going to be doing a review on a brand new app. This is already skyrocketed to the top of the App Store, and this is Google Chrome for iOS. So you can see here, this is a basic web browser, but it has some unique features that Safari doesn't have, and it actually runs faster in some areas. But we're going to take a look at the uh, iPad version and a little bit of um, the iPhone version. Um, first, we'll start with the iPad version here. Um, as you can see, it's a great little interface. If you use Chrome, you're very familiar with the top user interface. Um, it is very clean, it's very simple. It has a great voice search. You can just basically search apples and oranges. And the search bar just basically, you know, appears. Um, you could, again, with Google Chrome, you can search right up here. There's just everything integrated into one. Chrome looks great even in portrait mode. Um, the great, re the really good thing I really like about this is you can swipe between tabs with you know no at e with perfect ease. So you just swipe your finger over, and these are the few tabs that I have open. You can use any any hand you want inside, and everything just plays. Things play smoothly, as you can see. There is multi-touch, of course, you can zoom into pages, depending on the content, there's a little flicker there. See, there's no flicker on this one. Little animations can play smoothly. You can bookmark pages by adding, tapping the star. Over here is basically your context. You have a new tab. You can do incognito, which basically doesn't save any of your information and your history and browsing, stuff like that. But we don't need to do that right now. Um, you could sync to your other devices. You could have it synced right over to your iPhone. Uh, whatever uh, you know, bookmarks you have open, they could all be synced in together. You can do the same thing right up with your computer. Makes things very convenient. Um, I really like that. You can search inside a page. Um, you can request the desktop version of a website. And then the settings we have here is basically a whole bunch of uses stuff we don't really care about. Um, there's a couple content settings where you can block pop ups. Um, <clears throat> you know, clear browsing data, report an issue, privacy, blah, blah, blah. Don't really need all that. You can sign into Chrome. You can set your default search engine. Um, you know, basic settings like that. Let's go back here. I'm going to go to bookmarks and take you to the bookmarks page, which uh, the bookmark, which you could have different folder types. You could have mobile bookmarks, desktop bookmarks. Down here on the bottom, we have most visited websites, which I don't really have anything much right now because I've just tested it out. And we have our other devices where we can check out our bookmarks that we have saved on our computer or our other Android tablets or other tablets, whatever we're using. Um, we're going to go back to bookmarks here. As you can see here, it takes the little fave icon and makes a, you know, a cool little icon. I guess Amazon doesn't really have a good one. So I'll just tap here and open up the new browser. And you can see uh, the tab opening up. And the cool thing is you could rearrange your tabs by just holding down and dragging across. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty smooth. You can kind of stack them up over here. I, get it? I guess you could group your tabs here, I guess that's what that is. Um, <coughs> works really good, it actually moves very quickly. Up here you could tap this, this is basically a new tab button, pops up. Um, it's very clean, very simple interface. And that's basically a quick look at Chrome. Um, it's really great. I'm probably going to use this as my main browser because I pretty much put it right here already and took out Safari. Um, so we're going to check it out. We're going to play with it some more. Um, I'm, I'm very excited for it that they actually made something and actually can really do well against Safari. It competes pretty good and. Um, I really like the simple real quick voice search, you just tap and talk. Disney.com And bam, we go right to Disney.com. Um, some things that's convenient for some websites that might be a little long. Um, you know, we'll try them out and see how it goes. So you can see here the page refreshes by itself. 
must go into like a sleep mode and wake back up. But that's the iPad version. The iPhone version is pretty much the same, but obviously there's way less screen space, so you get your search bar, or your address bar slash search bar, you can type in a website, here's your context menu again where you have the same thing as before. You can refresh a page, you can bookmark a page from there, you could also go incognito. Um, over here is how you switch between your tabs, this is more like a deck of cards, so you can kind of like see how these three, they go all vertical. So all my tabs basically just slide up as I go along. Easily just get rid of a tab by tapping. Tab disappears, open up a new tab, shows you your recent sites again, and you can sync everything up with your iPad or your computer and go right along from there. Uh, it's pretty quick, it's very, uh, you know, efficient. I'm definitely probably going to use this one way more than I use Safari. and. Um, play along with it. So download it at the App Store. It's absolutely free thanks to Google and uh, let us know what you think uh, with the app. There's a sync button, sign in, our bookmarks. This is kind of like a home screen. And that's basically it. So this has been the Gizmo video. Subscribe to our videos and um, let us know what you think of Chrome. I think it's actually a really good app so it may replace a lot of web browsers out there and it may not but Check it out. It's really cool. And we'll see you soon. Thanks.